Welcome to another exciting Punjabi lesson. Wow. By the way, you've been doing awesome. You've done really well. In fact, you may have noticed. You may have, you might have noticed something. Okay, what, what, what is it you might have noticed? While you've been doing your exercises, it may have suddenly struck you that you're working through haha and a bunch of sounds. So, so far, what you might have noticed is you got an ah sound. You've got an i sound. You even have an e sound. You have an a sound. You got an oo, double o oo sound. You got an u uh sound. Uh. You got an a ah sound. And you even got a sound which doesn't have a sound, like mukta, which means say the word uh, the way it's originally meant to be said, or the akkar the way it's supposed to be said. So you probably notice you got a e i o u. Wait a minute. Ah, you don't have an o sound. You got an a e i, no o. You got a u. Eh, skip the sometimes y stuff. We'll talk about that later because that's really English. Okay. But what you'll notice is you don't have an o sound. And ladies and gentlemen, guess what? We're ready to talk horda. Okay. What is horda? Horda is a vowel, and what it looks like is like this. Okay, guess what? It is found above a letter. You can tell now from the position that you're seeing it. And guess what? It makes the O sound. Remember I said we were missing a sound? So here's the O. It is the O, and the O is in boat, because you're pretty familiar with a boat. Rote, as in do things by rote or by go repeating over and over again and by memory. And row, as in row, row your boat. Okay? How do we write horda? Horda is a cool one to write. In fact, if you look at it, you'll see it's shaped kind of like a boat with a rudder. So guess what? We start at the top, come down, go across, come down again, and there is horda. And when I say it looks like a boat, on the left-hand side, to me, it looks like the front end of a ship or a boat. And at the back, there's the rudder. See how the rudder is dipping into the water? So I always remember horda as the boat. Okay, it gives me my O sound, which makes it kind of neat. But that's really not a rhyme. It's just a silly little story to help you remember horda. Okay, let's do uh, horda with haha. So here's our friend, haha muktaha, haha horda ho. Let's do it again, haha muktaha. Ha ha horda ho. Okay, horda is above the letter. There it is. See, right up there. Okay, repeat after me. Are you ready? Ha ha horda ho. Ha ha horda ho. Ha ha horda ho. Ha ha horda ho. Okay. Shall we uh, go over to our trusty writing board? Are you ready? Here's our blackboard. We're going to do horda, and I'm going to just show you a couple of things. So this time I'm going to start with yellow. Let me get my ha ha. And here's my haha -ha again, right? Here's haha. -ha. Oopsie. You know what? I don't really like that haha. -ha. Let me delete it and start this haha -ha again. Let me see if I can do a little bit better this time. Yep, yep, yep. And I go around, and there's my haha. -ha. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to notice something because I exaggerated a little bit there deliberately for a reason. Uh, what's gonna? What I'm gonna show you is that imagine there's a line here and another line over here. So what I'm going to do with my horda is I am going to go above where my body is. I'm going to go higher up normal just so I have lots of space to show you, but I'm going to come down like I do on a boat, go straight across, and then I'm going to dip down. See that? Across, and it should have a bit nicer than this, but you can see the basic shape, right? Because this thing really should have curved around like that, and that's actually better. Okay, so ignore this first little line. Now, what you'll see is, again, what I did is I lined up, all right, if you look carefully, you'll see I lined up this, <laughs> I lined up this line here, my pink line, okay, with this line here. See that? I just went around a little bit so you could see it, but you get the gist of it. And then over here, the body of this is actually lined up with the body of the starting point and the body of the letter are lined up. So try and fit your horda 
around and above the letter in this correct shape. Okay, so let me try and see if we can do it a little bit neater. Let me get rid of that. And this time I'm just going to start with the pink pen. And here we go. Uh, Horda. Ha ha. There's my ha ha. Let me do my ha ha. And again, when I do the uh, uh, the vowel itself or the lagamatra, this time I'm going to come down so that I'm not way, way up top because it's kind of goofy to be that high up. But for interest sake, here we go, going straight across. And then as I get closer to the start of the ha ha, there you go. See that? Let me see if I can do a better job because I'm just learning it just like you are. And I want you to practice as well. Here's ha ha. Here's ha ha. And uh, this time, let's go with a purple. I do my hora. Hora. Straight across, horda, and down. You see that? That is horda. And ideally, you, you know, I should have really had it over here. You see that next to this one? So it's a little bit longer, but you're getting the idea. And you know what? I want you to practice just like I'm practicing because you're going to see that my writing is going to improve even with this mouse thing over the next little while. So here's my horda one more time. Horda, 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 horda here, horda. And ha ha hora, ho. Okay, that uh, concludes the uh, drawing portion. You know what's coming next, my friends. So you know what to do. I want you to write uh, the letter and the uh, laga matra ten times uh, right after this lesson. Say it out loud. And again, let me remind you that you have already got so many of the sounds down. So for those of you who actually worked at it, you are going to be rocking and rolling here in a couple more lessons. You're going to be just amazed at what you're able to do. And, and like I said, we are also going to be uh, doing words later on, real Punjabi words starting right off, and then we'll have some more fun with words. So thank you for your time. Have a wonderful day. And you know what? I look forward to seeing you on the next lesson. And you take care of yourself.